Hi guys and welcome back to Manatab. I wanted to do a quick video today as the first part of a new series of videos we're starting for the channel, um, which will be a quick discussion and review of the new magazine by Hatchet Partworks, which is Warhammer Conquest. Um, so what I really want to do is break down what you get in each issue. Um, is it worth collecting? What's the value you get with the magazine versus what you pay for it? Um, and just a general overview of what's in the magazine so you can see if it's worth your time to purchase. Um, so the series overall, I believe, is 80 issues long. Uh, this is a poster thing that came with issue one. Um, so it gives you a quick overview of everything we're looking at there. Uh, it's got a big Space Marine poster with it, which will look great in our recording studio. Uh, so uh, that is the overall collection of what you're getting. I apologize for the lighting on there. I appreciate that's a bit hard to see. Um, but you get what amounts to a full army of Death Guard, a full army of Space Marines, uh, and a lovely big batch of terrain to go with it, as well as miscellaneous paints, brushes, and six dice, um, which is a pretty meaty collection. I'm assuming the various vehicles and bigger terrain pieces are probably going to come over multiple issues, um, but it is a very good starting point for someone new to the hobby. And that is the poster. So, uh, just delving into issue one um, so that comes at a special price of 199 um, uh, spoiler alert it's a huge bargain and I would buy any of these you see on the shelves um, even if you just resell the models or whatever you want to do with it to make some money it's insanely good value um, this is what it comes with uh, so let's pop that open so we've got one pot of Abaddon Black. Oh, that's stuck in it. Ah. One pot of Retributor Armor. And one pot of McCrag Blue. All the colors you need to make some of everybody's favorite boring ultramarines. The sprue itself we'll come to in a sec so there's your three bases and the starter brush which is taped in there one sec pretty sure tape was designed just to vex me um so that is a it's not very easy to focus on but it's a starter brush and i'd say it's probably roughly a small layer brush Okay, uh, one thing to note is the pots are the full size pots you would get from any games workshop for the full price of, and has 12 mil. Whereas what I expected was from the previous painting starter set, these smaller pots, um, but you get the full value pots, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, and then we come to the sprue. So here we have three intercessors, uh, two normal and one sergeant. Let's move that out of the way for a sec. Hopefully it'll focus a bit better. That's much better. Um, so we've got an all specs there and standard bolt rifles across all three intercessors. Um, now these are the push fit models, uh, which a lot of people feel doesn't allow you much in the way of customization options. Um, it really is designed to get new players into the game and sort of a good value starting force to get going with. Uh, what I would say though is for people who are a bit more advanced and have played more, there is no reason why you couldn't kit bash something out of this. So I fully intend to build the models up, leave the weapon arms off and come up with something I can use in a Death Watch kill team um, or possibly a homebrew chapter. I haven't decided yet. So, bringing the magazine back, 
um, its contents, which I realize most people are buying it for the paint and the models. So we'll be pretty quick on this one and just have a quick flick through. So you've got a little bit of back history on the 41st millennium, more history, uh, a bit about space Marines and a map of the sector. Uh, it got a breakdown of a few of the more common chapters. Um, so you got my boys, the Dark Angels, um, boring ultramarines, pyromaniac salamanders, failed tech priests, samurais, sneaky buggers, brick walls, and I've never heard of silver templars before, so pass. Uh, as always with stuff like this, there's a nice little bit of history and talk about the ultramarines and sadly only the ultramarines. And we go to the Battle of Luna, so a little bit of history on a major battle. Uh, a blurb about the intercessors and where they fit in overall in a space marine army. Uh, a fun read there is how Mark 10 power armor is made up, followed by the instructions on how to build your intercessors, including a very important clipper safety warning. Um, so no one has any excuse to be chopping fingers off by accident after reading this magazine. That's important. More instructions. How to paint. Now, this is my only issue with this whole thing is the paint instructions. I'm hoping or at least praying that they are spread over multiple issues because you only have three colored paints here. There is no mention of priming the model at all, which anyone who's played or painted for any length of time knows is absolutely essential. Um, it then asks you to base coat over the already blue model with McCrag blue, bearing in mind you haven't primed it yet. Um, however, in the pictures, I'm 90% certain they haven't base coated it in McCrag blue at all. And that is just the bog standard plastic the model comes in. Um, it then tells you to apply the black onto the guns, the hair, um, the leather pouches, and even the eyes of the actual model. Then the Retributor armor to the trim. Now my issue with this is that that leaves you with some really naff looking Space Marines. Um, so I'm assuming they're going to build on this and they're not actually trying to tell people that this is ready to play on a tabletop standard. Um, with no skin painted or anything like that. So I'm assuming they're building on this over time, but the next few videos will tell. Um, it then gives you a brief overview of setting up for a battle uh, and will give you some instructions on the first battle uh, in the following issue, um, as well as the briefing for the battle itself and some fluff building up to it. Um, now, the channel uh, did actually subscribe to it, so along with this issue, we received the mold line remover, as shown there, a pot of glue, and the clippers, which made it even better value for money. Um, so I was just going to do a quick breakdown on what you actually get in that value for money, so let's do that. This is going by Games Workshop prices. Bear in mind that most local game shops knock off 10% of those prices, because everyone knows they're obscenely priced. So... We have a set of easy to build intercessors, which are exactly the same as the free pack you can buy off of Games Workshop. It is that exact same sprue, uh, which you will pay 10 pounds plus shipping for. One pot of Retributor Armor. Um, all the paints go for two pound 55. Another two pound 55 with the Abaddon Black. Another £2.55 with McCrag Blue. And the brush goes for around £4.50, depending on which actual brush it is. Uh, as it's labelled just as, not that it's going to focus, but it's labelled as a starter brush. Um, but that I'm going to, I'm basing around £4.50. So issue one, guys, if you bought it for a whopping £1.99, uh, contains £17.05 of value. Um, so it's definitely worth looking into.
so if you are in any way interested in collecting this stuff or just building up a number of paints and saving some pennies this is a really really good way to go guys so that's it for issue one um, as you can see issue two is going to come with some plague marines and death guard green paint some dice and a play mat um, issue three then goes for some skin color paint uh, bug man's glow is that uh, no, it's not. I lie completely. That's issue four. This is lead, lead belcher that comes with that and some reavers um, Which is why I think they're building up on the painting over the following issues um, But we shall see um, So that is issue one Thanks for tuning in. We're going to do a breakdown shortly of issue two um, And this will be an ongoing series So if you like what we're doing here like and subscribe to the video follow us on Facebook There'll be a link down in the description below um, And the quicker you click subscribe the quicker you'll be notified when issue two's video comes out. So thanks for your time guys